A very good afternoon to all the distinguished speakers and all of you who have registered for this inaugural event of the ETHR World. This is supposed to be the India's largest virtual summit for HR professionals and thought leaders, where we can all learn together, engage, network, and collaborate with each other. So as we speak today in these unusual times, the need of the hour is to redefine and recreate the HR strategy and processes thereof which will help organizations and employees to navigate through this new norm. So being aware and conscious of the diverse and dynamic HR ecosystem, I'm happy that the Economic Times understood the need for this kind of a platform for the HR community. So I must congratulate the entire ETHR world team for putting this together for this much needed platform, which the HR professionals must be looking for. The situation that we are in due to the impact of COVID-19 pandemic it's not just a health crisis, but it's a global economic crisis now. So it is estimated that almost 130 million jobs are at risk in a country like India, which is unique for its own demographics because every year we have 10 million jobs which, gets, which we need to absorb people who are move, moving into the working age population. And that is in addition to all those who are unemployed as of now. So as HR professionals, we have a massive responsibility of not just business continuity in our own organizations, but also for the overall business revival in the country. So hence the launch of ETHR world is all the more important and most welcome in this kind of an unprecedented times as it provides a platform to improve every aspect of the HR landscape. So the theme of today's launch event is focused primarily around this workplace resurgence and leading the new normal. So some of the top HR professionals, business leaders, and thought leaders have shared their insights, learnings, and experience with all of us around a platform of all kinds of HR topics ranging from workplace that we foresee post-COVID to the power of employee experience in such trying times, and also the technological enablers to fortify the HR ecosystem. So I'm sure that all of you would agree that 2020 so far has been a year of immense learning for all of us. The global pandemic has caused disruptions in work, workplace, as well as workforce. So this has led to organizations experimenting with remote work culture, and we are seeing emergence of new work patterns supported by the gig economy and the flatter, flexible, interconnected, and of course, collaborative organizational structures. So as times evolved, the so-called best practices which we knew about are no longer relevant. And we have arrived in a new world of work when the dynamic of work, workforce and workplace are compelling necessary changes in the business operating model. I've always said that every disruption also throws an opportunity. As long as we are agile enough to spot that opportunity and adapt to it for the better. So workplace itself has been digital for a long time, where employees across global geographies were connected with virtually, with in, in a virtual environment across continents with the use of technology. But the current situation has shown up an opportunity for us to build what we call a digital workforce. We all know that the biggest barrier for any organization transformation or in the mindset transformation is a resistance to change. And the current pandemic, even though inadvertently has brought that urgency for that much needed change in the organization. The way we define talent today, it is any capability which creates economic value for the organization. So talent is no longer restricted physically by space and time. We need to leverage the technological ecosystem and interconnectedness to drive the distributed and dynamic capability across organization to create that ready, network future-ready organizations. While we would see massive shifts in our ways of working going forward, I believe that the biggest shift post-COVID era is going to be the mindset shift. We'll move from a mindset where we will no longer ask the question, can we do this in person, to start asking the question, do we need to do this in person? This would mean an opportunity for us for all interactions with all our stakeholders to move seamlessly to a virtual mode. So going forward, in my mind, the differentiating factor will be how well we demonstrate agility, adaptability, 
critical thinking and growth mindset to create anti-fragility, not only in our own organizations, but also to the entire business ecosystem at large. So as we are adapting and settling down with this new normal, every aspect of our lives, be it our health, families, careers, and finances have been impacted. So while everybody is experiencing this new moment of truth in their own way, but the global scale of this crisis has made this impact universal. And so everyone who is impacted needs a lot of support. So I strongly feel that going forward, employees will start evaluating employers, not only on their business performance, but also on the resilience shown by these organizations during this hour of crisis. Having said that, I think there is a, there's, I don't think there's any blueprint available to any one of us for how we as individuals, organizations, or society at large should be transiting into this new normal. The impact and implications of such crisis is still unfolding. But as a HR community, I think we have an immediate responsibility and opportunity at the same time to gain much deeper understanding of our most critical asset, our people. The question that every leader and manager should be asking their employees right now is how are you doing? What support you require? And what could be something different that we should be doing for better? So we know that this VUCA business world with this new normal is showing a high degree of complexity as well as unpredictability. But this is the right time for us to also collaboratively and collectively demonstrate a higher degree of resilience, creativity, agility, and embrace the right technology to imagine the future business scenarios, navigate through the uncharted terrain, and emerge as a winner like, like we always did in the past. So the thought I want to leave with all of you is, this too shall pass, but the connect and trust that we make today with our employees and all our business stakeholders will last forever. So let me conclude by saying that disappointments can be finite, but hope is always infinite. Thank you and stay safe.